Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this hard hoop earrings, I'm going to be using some porcelain clay. This kind of clay that hardens with air. I just prefer to work with this because I don't have to bake anything. I get a lot more on this package. Of course, you can use polymer clay for this. It's pretty much up to you. These are the two brands that I've used and I know they work for this. I'm going to be using some water and this heart-shaped good cutter mini one. I bought it at a local store, by the way, but you know, towards Valentine's, you're going to find a bunch in different places. And also feel free to work with a bigger size cutter. First, I'm going to be tracing the shape of my cookie cutter on some like piece of paper. You don't have to do this, by the way. This is an extra step that I did. And in a minute, I'm going to explain to you why. But yeah, I'm going to be rolling my clay into a really, really thin sausage or snake. This is the like thickness that I went for. It's not like super thin. It's not like super thick. Somewhere in between, I guess. And so I'm going to be rolling my clay around my heart shaped cookie cutter starting with like the edge and then just working my way around it then once i like reach the top again i'm gonna be cutting the excess and i'm gonna make it round my kind of clay when it's wet is like stickier and that's when you work with it i'm gonna be using some water my brush just because water acts like a glue but if you're using polymer clay you can use translucent clay it works like a glue for that i'm going to remove my cutter and then work on like the actual shape placing this on top of like the hard shape that i traced just to have this shape as a reference if you're working with polymer clay this is when you bake it I'm going to be taking my exacto knife and I'm going to be cutting the part where this uh, become earrings. I did one already and I'm going to be taking my other one, placing that on top and I'm going to be uh, following where I cut it. But the cut itself is you get the heart shape on top, that bit and then the bottom part. Then I'm going to be using a couple of ear pasts and I'm going to be taking my super glue. I show you how or where i got this uh, glue holder it's pretty handy when you are working with this kind of uh, glue that is like runny you just can't leave it on the table it's runny so it will end up all over your table this is just to make your work easier as you're using it and i'm going to be using my gold that i uh, custom made i do have the diy for this one if you like this shade of uh, gold given this couple of coats until it's like covered and looks beautiful but yeah guys these are the hoop earrings that i want to share with you i honestly love them they're pretty lightweight kind of like a statement but a subtle statement if you're into bigger hoops just use a bigger cookie cutter i got full inspired by Gwen stefani on her instagram she was wearing like this really beautiful earrings i just made them smaller in different kind of like shape i guess but this idea is not new but they look really cute no less and they're actually really easy to make so i just wanted to make my own and show you how to make them but yeah i really hope you like them and find them easy to do if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below check out more accessories that have on my channel subscribe for more thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye